Yo, early birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Planet Coaster Holidays at Nightfall. So I realized that uh, our mountain in the back there has reached an end point. And by an end point, I mean it's flat on the top, meaning that this is the highest we can go here. Which sucks, because this is barely covering our go-karts. Let's see, let's just push this in a little bit here, so we can maybe make it a little bit mountainous, but it's never really going to be like that. Yeah, there we go. There's our go-karts right there. So, I'm thinking that we can unveil just the top portion of this, and then what we can do is we can probably try to bring this higher, bring the ride higher, and then bring the mountain, like, right underneath the ride. That way it's kind of showing. And also, Jamie in the comments suggested doing a drop tower within the mountain, so I think I want to do that as well, like, right over here, maybe. And that would work out pretty nicely as well, just because we'd have more attention there. So what we can do about this mountain is, though, I want to bring it out over this way and out over this way. And then, of course, we're going to have hills all throughout here, which is going to take a very long time because these tools are absolutely tiny. Like, look at that. Oh, <laughs> went the wrong way. Like, look at this. Look at how tiny that is. We could do, like, little potholes with this. Although, uh, technically, these aren't little potholes, but still. You know what I'm saying. Like, they look like pimples on the ground, and it's going to take forever to actually make this work as high as we did here. So, I mean, we're going to have to just... um. Well, I sh I should say I'm gonna have to work on this on my own time again, probably after I'm done with the uh, with Fright Nights and Nightfall, just so that I can have more time for this. Cause right now I'm spending as much time as I can on uh, Fright Nights and Nightfall. Anyway, let's see. I want to push the w the rest of this away so I can actually see how much we're gonna get. We could just do this, and with this part here, I could just try to smooth it out. Ooh. Yeah, let me just leave that all back there. I'm going to try to smooth this out as much as I can because that's looking a little bit rough there, and that's not okay. What we can do is... Ooh. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Just move that back up there. There we go. So, as I was saying, anyway, what I want to do is then I want to bring this ride further up. So, we're going to keep looping it up, 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 up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lift the mountain up over it, and then we'll probably have, like, this mountain being a little bit bigger. That way it doesn't look so bizarre, I guess you could say. So, that way, you know, things work out a little better for us. So, what we have here... Ah, oh, a thief has been caught. Always nice. All right, so what I'm going to do right now, though, is I want to give these people something more that they need. They're going to need some more food and drink, clearly, because these guys are... Well, filled up to the brim. So let's go ahead and get, grab another one of these just because it works out pretty well. And people love their chief beef. Let's be honest here. People love chief beef. So that always works out well for us. Let's go ahead and place this guy somewhere right over here, I suppose. That does give us quite enough space for a queue. Sure. And we're going to have to edit this part back here so we can actually add a drinks place. I think I'm going to go for street box coffee this time because it just works. Okay? It just works. Let's see. I want to get rid of this. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, okay, I guess. Sure. I, I really can't remember what happened last time, but somehow I was able to get all these, so sure. Let me just go ahead and try to copy all of this over there, and hopefully that'll work out pretty well for us. Apparently, I need those pieces there. I need this there. There we go. And I need all these. Uh-oh. I selected something I did not want to... Wait, was that? Did I select the right thing? Oh, maybe I did. My bad. All right, there we go. And can I actually copy this? new? No, apparently not. Well, I'll just copy this guy over here, and that should be good. Do we have a grid right here? Huh. Is this everything? That's almost everything. It looks like we're missing an arch. Um, oh, God. God dang it. Okay. Uh, yes, I did say God dang it, because that's apparently a thing. Anyway, let's uh, move this guy in here now, and ta-da! Good. All right, so now all we need is an arch, and it has to be the gingerbread arch. Let's see. This one right here. Sure, it looks just about the same as the other one, although there's some little weird thing going on there, but that works for me. What is this? Artificial snow. Ooh, so that's what it's used for. I was like, hmm, artificial snow. I wonder what I could do th with this. Well, I guess I know now. All right, so let's go for a Street Fox coffee, as I said, because that just works. Uh-huh. And there we go. All right, another sheep beef and some Street Fox coffee. Hopefully these people are going to have more than enough food and drink here. And is this an angle? Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so let's go ahead and bring Ooh, from here. Mm -mm. It has to be lower. That, no, that's way too, way, way, way too not low enough. Okay, something like that there, maybe. It's just, it's a little bit weird because it's trying to connect there and it's trying to make the path a little bit bigger than I like. Um, well, we could do that. Or we could just uh, do, sure. You know what? It's still a little bit weird, but it works. All right, so let's go ahead and move these benches all around because, of course, we're going to need more benches here now that we're going to be dragging some more people into this area. And... You know how it is. If we don't add enough benches, they're going to be walking around, tossing their trash all over the place, and that is just not okay. So let's do something like that, and of course, we need some bins. 
you always need more bins because people are very messy. So let's go ahead and do bins there. And I guess we could probably do bins over here because people might walk this way and need to throw their trash away. I'm also going to do some bins over on this side as is usual. And we could probably do some bins over at the very end here because we're probably going to need them there as well. But of course we're going to need benches because uh, people need more places to sit as I said. So let's go do something just like that. Have enough benches for these people here and that should be more than enough. All right. So what else do we need for our guests? Let's take a look at what it is that we need. Hmm. Don't have enough money. Okay, that's just they could go to the ATM. Sundell is so expensive. That can be changed, even though it seems like we have enough Q, but whatever. We're going to change it to 20 bucks because I think this ride just is, can never really be that expensive. Chief, okay, we took care of that. Ah, they want to gift shop. All right, so let's go for a gift shop somewhere in here, even though I know we do not have any holiday themed ones. I'm just going to place a, sure, Hats Fantastic here. And let's see, I'm going to make sure that we have maybe just proper hats for this. I hope there are winter hats here because... I don't know what I'm gonna do if we don't have those. So let's see, hats fantastic. Ooh, what do we have over here? Not a crown, not a pirate hat, no baseball cap, no sci-fi, no cowboy, no archer. <gasps> we have elf hats and wait, reindeer hats. Hey, that always works out well for us. And let's go ahead and just reprice these here. And let's see, Statue of Liberty, Uncle Sam. Nah, what would I need those for? Spooky. Oh, whoa, 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 hold the phone. We have spooky hats. Oh, no. Can you guys guess what I have yet to do, actually? And, uh, Friday Night at Nightfall? Yeah, I did not add a... That's fantastic. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll just have to deal with that. Let me just add some more gift shops here, just in case. Just a memento. Let's see. Snow Globe is okay. Crystal Ball and Sci-Fi Radio are not. So let's go ahead and use the prices throughout. And 12 bucks that went up. All right. And I guess let's add a Looney Balloons, even though there aren't any holiday balloons. But whatever. We'll just uh, pick holiday colors, huh? Let's see. So for our Looney Balloons, we can go ahead and... Oh boy, we're charging way too much. So the red balloon and the green balloon are the ones that we're keeping. No orange, no yellow, no pink, because those just do not make any sense. And hopefully that's going to be inexpensive enough for people here. Now, I know I have yet to change prices for Le Vif, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure we do that because... Oh, <laughs> a lot of unhappy people. All right, so 10 bucks there, 6 bucks there. That should be more than enough, and we'll make it so that it works that way in both of the Chief Beefs. Let's open it up and see if people are actually happy with the amount of things that we have. Wow, they're already flocking to Hats Fantastic. Okay, it seems like they love Hats Fantastic and Looney Bloons, but they are not very big fans of Just a Memento. So now we know. Just a Memento, don't really use it, unless they're just not happy that they can only buy snow globes, which... I guess that could make sense. That could make a little bit of sense, right? I mean, wouldn't you be mad if the only thing that they sold was just... If, if you went to a gift shop and all that they had were just snow globes everywhere, unless you were in the market for snow globes, <laughs> then you would be like, oh, hey, well, there's plenty to choose from here. Let me get rid of this path because we don't exactly need that challenge available. Let's see what we have here. Uh, oh, what? Sure. Build a coaster with an average speed. Yeah, we're not building any coasters yet, so that's not going to happen for now. Challenge complete. What? Well, yeah, we just got that. We got that, buddy. All right, how are we doing in terms of this stuff? So people are still complaining that this is expensive. Hmm. You want to do something more fun than actually shopping at that? I mean, stop checking them then. Jeez. And let's see. Oh, boy. Everything's moving so fast. I'm trying to actually spot one thing that I can look at and try to solve. But it seems like maybe we're okay. It's just that things are either too expensive or the, the shops are just not fun, basically. Why do I even bother? Why do I bother you guys placing gift shops? They're always going to complain. Whatever. I want to hire one more janitor because I realized when I was actually playing with the Nightfall Park, or the Fright Nights at Nightfall Park, that the janitors were getting stuck between people. And since we do have small paths here, we uh, kind of need someone else to try to empty bins if the other ones get stuck. Maybe what we could do is bring a path from out here, around here, and then connecting over here. That way we can clear this area up, because that might be okay, right? So let's try that. I'm pretty sure this is not going to be that laggy. If it is, I apologize deeply. I am so sorry that I didn't realize that. Anyway, let's see. We want to go ahead and take a path out from somewhere over here, make it kind of, ooh, further down? Um, there we go. That Something like that, yeah. Like, that was, that was what I was going for. Okay, maybe not this, but something like this was what I was going for in the uh, other side here. All right, so let's make sure that this one is a little bit farther out. There we go. And now we could probably just place this straight across here because it doesn't go underneath. Oh, are you kidding me? How does that go underneath? What kind of drugs are you on, game? Seriously. All right, whatever. Let's just go ahead and do this like this here. And that should not be obstructed. All right, there we go. And do not connect there because that would be a big, big problem. All right, that's fine, because I have to just uh, bring it out through to right over here and connect it right there, I suppose, even though it's going to look a little bit wonky, but that, that'll work. That'll do. That'll do. Sure, let's do it right there, and now people have an alternate path to walk, so that way we can clean people up off the uh, this street and not have much going on there. Although now we're probably going to need bins and benches there, but eh, 
Whatever. All right, so enormous speed is the looper. Okay, swings and wave is Urch hero plane. Makes sense. And soaring high is this going to be the... Oh, Zozo. Ugh, Zozo. Well, if only that was a good ride, I'd be happy about it. But no, I'm looking for something that's high. Very tall, so we can add that uh, close to the mountain. Because that would be nice. And let's see. Over here, do I already see trash? Or is that just my sight? That is just my sight. Some, for some reason, this asphalt path looks very, very shiny. But I guess that's just the way asphalt is, isn't it? So let's go ahead and maybe add ourselves some more bins over here. Just to make sure people do not get super messy. Because if they do, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. Let's see. A bin somewhere over... Are you kidding me? We have money, right? We do have money. They just can't throw things away. What, what's going on here? Is this all... No, don't tell me. It's because of the coaster, isn't it? It's all blocked because of the coaster. Uh, fine, I'll put a bin as far over here as I can. There we go. Hopefully that'll be more than enough. And what are we having here? Thief theft reported. Well, I mean, this is a very small area, so hopefully the thief will get caught sometime soon because I really don't want to deal with that. And let's see. Yeah, it looks like just a memento is probably not good. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's all too expensive for you. Excuse me. Okay, did I not change the price of this? I thought I did. Yeah, it's probably 15 bucks before. All right, so let's try that. Maybe the reason why people weren't visiting it is because the snow globe was just way too expensive. And obviously, we lost a lot of money there, so... I might want to get rid of it. How's this one doing? Oh, a lot of missed sales. Um, yeah, it's probably because of that. They're not happy with this. And maybe these hats are still too expensive, so let's just go ahead and drop them again. Oh, boy. Rip-offs. And let's see. 96 angry people here. Yeah, I just think that they, uh, they're not happy with the prices overall. So I'm going to just charge five bucks for balloons, and that's basically the lowest I'm willing to go. If I go any lower than that, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. And I'm thinking that, yeah, we're going to have to get rid of this one just because it seems like no matter what, people are not happy. I was like, is he stuck there? No, it looks like he's actually... Wow, he entertained a lot of people. That's always nice. That's always nice to see. So that means he's worth the money that we're paying him. That's not that bad. Um, increased productivity, increased happiness. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. All right. And I'm, I'm going to get rid of this. It's just not working at all. So let's see. Select building, delete building. We did not need that one. Two gift shops should be more than enough, especially since it seems like people aren't actually going to gift shops anymore anyway. And as for our staff, I suppose, let's see, let's make sure, that, oh, you guys want some more training, is that what it is? Or maybe you got, what, guys want more money, apparently you're paying a lot of people a lot of money, so we have to be very, very cautious about this. Let's pay you 200 bucks there, let's pay all you guys 200 bucks, because clearly you guys are manning the new shops, and, well, you guys just have to take care of that as well as possible. Well, let's go ahead and train all these guys, train you, sir, and that should be good enough. I don't really want to train these guys too much. Although, if we do give them a little bit of training, they'll probably work a little bit faster, so sure. Let's just do a little bit of that then. And our search is here. Let's see, what do we have? We have our victory ride. Not necessary, but sure. We have the overpower. Oh, whatever. And spin, 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 spin is the elixir machine. Oh, no. That is not at all what I wanted. It's so absolutely terrifying. Hmm... Which ride is absolutely terrifying, because I want to know if that's one of the ones that I'm looking for. We have Smashing the Atom. Um, I mean, sure, maybe. I, I really cannot imagine wanting to use that one, but okay. Wow, we didn't even pay much on interest. Nice. All right, let's see. Pickpocket victims, chased, and only three apprehended. I mean, people do multiple crimes at once, so that could be the case there. And I kind of want another camera towards the back here because I realize now that I only have one camera. So let's go ahead and do one camera back here just to make sure because we do have shops there. We could probably do one like further along the way over here, especially at the ATMs. That would make some kind of sense. So sure, let's do one there just to see if we can... Uh-oh. Was that me? Was that my bad? That was totally my bad. I thought for some reason they were wrecking benches, but no. <laughs> that was not their fault. Wait. That was, yeah, this one was my fault. Okay, fair enough. And also, I did see some trash there, but it looks like that got cleaned up pretty quickly, so nice. I'm going to add just one more bench there to make it look, oh, wait, that did not get cleaned up? Or did they just make a mess again there? All right, that's telling me that we need some bins over here, which that should hopefully help out a little bit. Let's add some bins over here, even though we apparently have one right there, but hey, apparently that's not enough. All right, so I want to just uh, focus on research right now so we can get the ride that we need. Big Daddy Joe did suggest a coaster. Let's see if I can find it in here. Steam Workshop. This one right here, Winter Eagle Rehab. It is a beautiful, beautiful coaster, and I would love to add it. However, one, it's too expensive for what we have right now. Two, I want to plan out the park before I start throwing down rides like this, especially since I might have to do the park like in just this area here and not include this. Because obviously, this is going to make this park absolutely huge. Unless we leave spaces for just a lot of trees, like I kind of did in uh, Nightfall. But laying down a lot of trees makes me nauseous. Honestly, like I've been working on the forest in uh, Freyness and Nightfall, and that made me super nauseous. 
Uh, let's see. So let's not do that. That's because I'm, uh... I get a little bit motion sick whenever I get too close to certain things. Like, I can't play first-person shooters or anything like that because I get very, very nauseous when I do that. Anyway, you know, who cares about that, right? Anyway, so uh, let's see what we have here that we can actually work with. Of course, we are probably going to need some more rise just to capture these people's attention. Let's see if they're actually okay with the rise that we have right now, though. They should probably pause this. So the litter is disgusting. It's only 10%, so that's not that bad. They're not exactly complaining, though, about there not being enough rides. They seem to be happy with just two rides, which is a little bit bizarre. And I like keeping just two rides because when we added... Let's see. How many did we add in Fright Nights at Nightfall? We added... Four? Four or five rides? And there were, like, almost 2,000 people in the park. So right now we're keeping to about 700-ish. Seven, under 700 which works really well because that makes the game lag a heck of a lot less. So let's see, research. We have absolutely terrifying is the Screaminator. Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about. It's Collider as well, and we have here Pathos 3. Not really necessary, but sure. I'm, I'm going to continue this on just because, of course, we're going to need to research everything eventually, and why not now, right? Why not now? And then we can actually go ahead and work on our Candy Cane Mountain. I can't wait to try that out because... I think that's going to be pretty cool. Alright, so there we go. Let's just go ahead and pause this while I move around, just in case. So, what I think I'm going to do is I may, might want to just push this back a little bit. Do, wait, do I have everything turned off? Let me see. Settings, game. Yes, good. Okay. Whew. Got to make sure that I have everything turned off for this one and turned on for Fright Nights at Nightfall, just because. Alright, so I might want to leave some space over here. I might want to just uh, stack the ride on top of this. And then build the mountain around it, just because I think that would be cool. But of course, we'd have to build uh, the mountain around the candy cane that we built here. So that's definitely something to think about how we're going to do that. I really want to place it in the front, though, just to take away from the ugliness of the mountain. And we can just build the mountain around that, because that's probably not going to be a problem. So what we need to do here is we need to actually get rid of some of this here. Just uh, push it away, and that should be... Oh. Okay, I need to actually flatten to foundation. That's what I need to do, because right now that's not okay. Ooh, a deep menacing hole. I wonder what's in there. Actually, that's maybe a little bit too deep, huh? Let's change the intensity a little bit and change the size as well, because if we keep the size that big, then we're going to definitely make menacing holes like that. And let's do something like that there. Good. All right, so push this around here just a slight bit there. And can I actually... Can I somehow push this around a little bit? Like, zoop, there we go. All right, we can fix this later. It's not a big deal. Let's just uh, zoop and zoop and zoop. There we go. All right, good. Good. This one... There's a few pieces there that are a little bit bizarre, but okay. I mean, they don't want to go down. What if we try to smooth it out? Well, actually, <laughs> what is this? It's like an icicle sticking out from the ground that doesn't actually want to listen to me. All right, well, fine, whatever. So, I mean, we didn't push as much away. Let's see if I can actually smooth it out. No, I can't. All right, let's just gently push it out of the way. Gently. Just gently because we don't want to break in there. If we do break in there, we're going to have a few problems, and that would not be okay. Alright, let's see. A little bit further in here with some of these pieces. Maybe I could do with a bigger size. Just make this process go a little bit faster. There we go. Alright, works for me. Just have to do it very, very gently. Otherwise, I'm going to have to completely do everything over again, and that's not okay. So let's move that in a little bit more, and that in just a little bit more. There we go. Alright, works for me. So, can we actually place this ride on top? Let's see. Ride. Uh-huh. Can we place this on top somewhere here? I mean, we could probably float it. Hey, it works. All right. So this is going to be good because we can then start our spire, right? Or tower or whatever you want to call it. Somewhere like right there on top. Okay, so let's see. Right here. How far back can I move it? All right. So I kind of want it somewhere in the center of this. Just so that we have enough space to work with. Something like uh, that there. Sure. Wow. $5,000. And yeah, we can probably just uh, cut the mountain up to the top here and have it kind of uh, showing there. And I mean, I can always make the candy cane a little bit taller just because. So that might work out for us pretty well. I don't want to place the entrance and exit just yet, although I probably should, huh? If I do one here and one on the other side, then we can have the candy cane kind of going around it. So sure, let's try that and we'll move these as need be. All right, let's see. Somewhere around there. Good, good. And now we just need our building pieces so we can start a brand new building. Although I could probably just build upon this, but I kind of don't want to just in case I have to move this. So let's start a brand new building. So what pieces do we have that are actually round and we could change the color? Well, we have the castle one, but I really do not like that idea there. And I mean, I'm pretty sure we can't change the red color. So as much as I would like to use that, that's not going to work out so well. So I think what we're going to go out of is, of course, our paneling wall. Because, of course, that is perfectly round. And, of course, to make a, uh, well, a nice candy cane, we have to be 
perfectly round. So if we can do this, let's see. I want to actually start it back here and we'll move it into place where we need to go. So this is going to have to be not exactly round. I mean, if we wanted to go round, we'd have to do something like this. And that's going to be very, very tiny, of course. Wait, wait. Maybe we can do it around this, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if it'll actually go. If it, if it will. I mean, that... Ooh. <laughs> Ideas. Although people are going to have to go like... um. Oh, wait. Wait. Did they just... Did that just tell me no? Obstructed. Uh-oh. Maybe it's... Yeah, it's just going to be too obstructed. Ugh. I was hopeful, you guys. I was super hopeful. Is this floating now? Hey, lovely. Well, we're going to need a floating anyway. Yeah, I was just... I was maybe a little bit too hopeful. So we're going to have to definitely bring it out as much as I really don't want to. Let's see. What do we have here? I just got rid of that one because it's going to take a long time to get there. So, no. Sorry. Not today. All right. So let's move these out just a little teeny bit because clearly we're going to have to make this just slight bigger. So let's see. We're here. We're going to move there. Good. So this isn't going to be exactly like the roundest looking candy cane, but it's going to hopefully look somewhat like a candy cane. If it doesn't, well, I'll try again. Don't worry, you guys. Don't worry. I got this. All right. So something like that, of course, we're going to have to use. Let's see. I just need panel wall. That's all I need to see. So building material panel. Panel. Pa where? Uh, uh, is it metal? It's not metal. It's really not metal. What What the heck is it? Is it plastic? It's totally plastic. Okay, well, that works for me. I mean, <laughs> it's always nice to know what we're working with. And let's see. Yeah, I wish. I wish. I wish. All the, hmm. Hmm. No, I think the wall's always going to run into it. And I mean, we could just toggle the collision on, but... That would not work out super well because uh, it's just it just wouldn't. All right, so let's try something like this, and of course we're gonna have to change the color. So we're gonna have to pick a red, and I mean we could always go try to or excuse me try to go with that red there. So let's pick a nice red that's maybe right over here. That's probably a little bit too dark. Maybe this one. That's this one looks kind of nice, right? It looks kind of candy cane red. So I mean it looks like uh, keeping our grid actually works out pretty well for us. So let's do something just like that, and we're gonna have to of course alternate the floor. So all we really have to do is build. The same ones over and over and over again. That's not a problem. So let's see. Can we duplicate this as the red that we need? We could just recolor it, huh? Yeah, we could just recolor it. All right. So let's see. You're going to go with this red, I believe. Yes, it was right. And duplicate this over here. Uh-huh. And duplicate this over here. There we go. And last one. Hey, there we go. All right. So now it's just a matter of maybe separating these two and making sure that we can copy them over. So let's just select all of this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Two more pieces, two more pieces. All right. So I'm going to move this all the way over here. And I like this one here as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this here. And we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to start a brand new spire tower, whatever you want to call it. And we're gonna just going to continue copying these two. Because apparently we can select like this and just not copy anything extra. So that works for me. Let's see. We're going to do that there. Good, good. And we're going to copy this here. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know if this is big enough, actually. I should probably test that out, huh? All right, fine. Let's just uh, click done here and try to move this part into place. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to let me do it either. Oh, I take it back. Well, we could do that. Or we could do something bigger. Hmm. I, that, yeah, that's going into that a little bit too much. Maybe we should make it just a slight bit bigger. Just because of reasons. So fine, I'll do that. I will definitely do that. Let's go ahead and just make it just a slight bit bigger before we actually continue copying this out. Because, of course, we don't want to have to completely waste our time doing this over and over and over again. So, got to get rid of that one because, of course, well, we don't need that. Oh, left a piece behind. All right, so what we're going to do here is just move this a little bit back. So we go one and two. There we go. And one and two. And before we actually build it out a little bit further, of course, I want to make sure that it's big enough just to grab this whole thing in here. So let's just move these two together, and it looks like we're going to need double the walls like that, which kind of sucks, because that means it's going to get a little bit more expensive, but hey, that's okay. We have money, and we're definitely making more than enough money right now that we can definitely do this. So let's just grab that there. Good. And let's move this one just into place right now to see if that'll actually work. All right. Is this big enough now? You guys, I think it's perfect. I think it's the perfect size. All right, good. So this one we can work with. It was just a little bit too small before, but now it is absolutely perfect. All right, so we want to go ahead and duplicate that and make sure that we have our walls all the way throughout over here. Duplicate that as well, and ta-da! So we're going to have something just that size. So I'm going to have to do the same thing. Oh, boy, one, two, uh-huh, one, two. I know. All right, let me just do this up here, and we'll get back to the point where we're very close to finishing off our spire, I suppose, or our... Candy, oh, what do you guys want to call it? Spire or candy cane? What should we call this thing? I don't know. I don't know, but it's something like that. We're just about done with the candy cane. I decided to actually use double uh, floors of each color here 
because it just looks better this way, <laughs> honestly. I also wish I would have started it down there with uh, red just because I think that would look better, but eh, whatever, you know, it, it happened this way, so sure, we're going to keep it this way. So I think I need maybe one more floor of just this here before we actually top it off, because I do want to top it off. Is this going to be too tall? This might be too tall. I might have to get, actually get rid of that uh, addition there just so we can make a proper roof. So let's see. If we were to... Oh, no, 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 no. Move the whole thing. Move the whole thing. There we go. So if we were to do this this way... Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of those last two just because I want to make a nice roof there. So let's get rid of that too. We don't even need these guys anymore on the ground here because, well, we have everything we need right up in there. And let's see. We're going to have to add a nice roof here so we can make it a proper tower. So what kind of roofing do we have that we can actually... Ooh. Hmm. This isn't really the kind of roofing that I like for this. Do we have any... Let's see, I want just uh, pitch roofs and not the vinyl one, obviously, because that's just not going to work out so well. So, do we have any, like, maybe gingerbread ones? I don't know if that's going to work out super well. Ooh, if only... Oh, <laughs> that's going to be pretty small, so never mind. I was like, ooh, maybe that will work. Nope, that would not work. Hmm. I mean, we can change the color of these, but they're never going to look that nice. They're never going to look cool enough. We could always go for the castle ones because those are pretty huge. So that's probably going to be our best option. And if we can change the color, then that's going to be even better. We, yeah, I think the castle ones are really the only ones. I was like, hmm, maybe we could use the haunted house ones. No, that's actually not going to work out so well. We, of course, have these guys. but Those really do not give us the uh, shape that I'm looking for. So, let's see. Research project ready to reveal. What do we have here? We have the radius. Okay, well, not really what I want to use. Family friendly classic. Hmm. Seems like we have a butt ton of more, uh... Mm, right, sh Hulk up, because that's really all that. We finished all the thrill rides, so that's really all that we have left anyway there. So, uh, yeah, so we have our tiny, tiny spires here, round, slim one. Yeah, I definitely want to make our own, if we can, because clearly this is a big, big area. So, I do want to go with the round. I'm not so sure if I want to go tall, especially since it's going to be the weirdest looking roof in all of humanity, basically. Uh, hmm... I was thinking that maybe we could do like a rounded roof over here and then actually have a candy cane, but I really don't think the candy cane part will work. Oh, oh, you know what? Actually, actually, what we could do is we can make this maybe somewhat like a lighthouse. So what we're going to need to do is then grab, you know, the white paneling again, just because that's going to be what we need here. We're going to grab that. We're going to bring it all the way up to the top here. We're going to bring it out. One. Uh, mm, two, maybe? Uh, two looks, it looks too far away, so we're going to do there. We're going to do it like there. Let's see. We have this one, two. There we go. Uh-huh. And we can do maybe one, two over here. We can then add, like, some very, very bright lighting here just so we can have, like, a lighthouse within the mountains so, you know, you can see uh, your way through the darkness because this is a nighttime park. So that's going to be definitely necessary. And let's see. We have a coaster here. Track overlap is the Tiamat. Okay, sure. I mean, I, I really don't. It doesn't matter to me. Not, not that we're not going to use coasters, but we're not going to use coasters just yet. So... Researching these is just a matter of just getting it done. Anyway, so let's see. I, I don't know how many floors I want of this. Maybe we want to make this like twice up and then we'll do just another small flooring of this and cover it with a regular roof and then do like some kind of tall spire on the top just to make it look proper. I don't know if that's going to work out so well, but hey, I am more than willing to give it a try just because I want to see if this works out kind of like I hope it will. So we're going to do something like this and I think we can have three floors of this. That way so the middle one can be kind of open and hopefully that'll be like right at the very top or maybe we're going to have to get rid of... Hmm. I think we're going to have to get rid of a little bit more, you guys, just so that, because they're going to wait right there at the very top. I should probably move this in position, huh? Because otherwise we can't really see it that well. So let's see. Positions at the ready, you guys. Position at the ready. I'm going to just lower this down a slight bit, and that's cutting in a little bit too much. Let's see. Let's make sure that this is right on top, because if it's not, then we're going to be in a little bit of issue. We're going to be having a little bit of issues here. So something like that there. Good. All right, so... Right at the top here, they, 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 they going in too close. All right, so they stop right here, and yeah, we, we'd have to need need the um just the regular floor here. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this here, which means that we can alternate this. This is gonna be good because we can alternate this. So what we're gonna do is this is gonna be the blank floor. This is gonna be the uh oh, <laughs> that's in there. Oh, it's okay. We can get rid of that. All right. So, I mean, this is going to be the weirdest lighthouse ever because it's only going to have one side, but hey. Lighthouse, tower, whatever, you can call it whatever you want. So, this one's going to be the blank floor. It's not going to have anything special to it. It's just going to be maybe, hopefully, windows, if the windows work out. If not, then I'll just leave it, like, open because that might be for the best, right? And let's go ahead and copy this over here. Challenge available. Might be a good one. Might not be a good one. We'll see. All right, so let's copy this over here. We could probably just move that, but eh, apparently I'm not into that. 
So, now it's just a matter of deleting this guy to make sure that this works out well for us. Let's see. Gotta get rid of all this. There we go. Good. And, oh, can I reach in there? I can reach in there. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start deleting things I don't want to, like the go-kart, and that would not be good. Alright, there we go. So now I can actually move this one out of the way, because we clearly do not need this. And we can even make some flooring over here, just so we can cover this area up so it won't look like it's floating, because... If we do, if we do like leave it like it's floating, then it's gonna look super weird. All right, so let's see. I want to grab you, sir. You're gonna come over here, and you're gonna get put right up in there. Good. And I can probably just put something like that up in there. Let's see. Do I need this exact piece? I think I do. Yeah. All right. There we go. So I mean, I only really need the back part now, just this here, to finish that side off here. And that should be, ooh, there we go, good, all right. So now it's just a matter of actually adding the flooring and finishing this up. Now it's looking more like a lighthouse than the uh, candy cane, but hey, that's okay. It has candy cane colors and that's what matters, right? I hope that's what matters. Anyway, let's see, we're gonna need our panel roof flat and of course this has to be red, it is perfectly red, good. So now it's just a matter of bringing it all the way up here and making sure that it's aligned where it needs to be. Otherwise, we're gonna have a very, very bizarre ride over here. A very, very bizarre ride, uh, the heck? No! Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, 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 it does go there. It's just we're a little bit too far away. All right, so let's go ahead. Up, 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 one more. Up, up, oh, you don't want to? Okay, fine, that's okay. We can work with you. We can work with you, buddy. Uh, actually, it does go there, doesn't it? Hmm. Sure, fine, I'll accept that. I'll accept that even though it's a little bit uh, busy looking, but whatever. We'll fill it in over here if we ever decide to move the mountain, because of course, if we do, we are going to have to have that anyway. So let's see, panel roof flat, got to bring it all the way up over here as well, just to make sure that this is all filled up, otherwise we are going to be in for quite a few surprises. And let's, oh jeez. <laughs> oh, the nauseating factor is back in here, you guys. I don't know why this game's making me so nauseous lately. Uh, it, it's just, it's very, very real. I don't know how I'm going to fill in those areas there. I think I'm going to have to just overlap a roof somewhere around this point, which kind of sucks because I didn't really intend on doing something like that. But hey, if it works, it works. So hopefully that'll be okay. So let's see. Just got to fill this in. I mean, I, we could always just do like a, a square piece up here, but I just don't think that's going to work. What if I do... Oh, wait, what, what? I could have done that? Hmm... What if I do something like this? It's kind of sticking out, but hey, it works, right? It definitely works, so sure. It'll fill that in. It'll fill a little bit more in than I wanted it to, but that still works. Good. All right. So there we go. So now the next floor up will be our window area, if we can do that. I don't know if we can. Let's see. Windows. Windows. Unless we use something that's like open, like one of these, something like that, if we have that in the paneling, which I think we should, right? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, or I could just leave it out, honestly. So what do you guys think? Should I add this type of piece here? Should I maybe try for our glass? Which is right over, where's the glass? Right here. This is gonna make it look maybe a little bit too bizarre. So maybe this is not gonna be good. Let's just put this like this. Also, we don't have rounded glass pieces, so the corners are gonna have to be very specifically, obviously not these guys. And also, if we do some lighting up in here, we won't be able to see it with the glass wall or any other kind of wall, honestly. So maybe leaving it open would be the best option. But you guys let me know in the comments so we can work on that and more in the next episode. Because that is it for this episode of Planet Coaster Holidays at Nightfall. If you enjoyed, hit that like button to show your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But anyways, always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.